Hi, in this video I continue with GIMP 2.8 preferences. So let's go to edit and select it. Next up is default grid, but before I start explaining these options, I want to go back to default image. And I want to apologize for something that I said in the previous episode. As I was trying to explain the fill width option here, I talked about how the background color by default is white and we also have a white option here. So uh, we have two whites uh, by default and I wanted to explain the difference between these two and I said that we can change our background color and foreground color from the default grid options here, which is not true. This only affects the default grid, not uh, the uh, these foreground and background colors here. Again, I'll try to explain why we have two different options here is because uh, we can change the background color before we start a new image. So if I cancel this for a moment, go here and change the background color to red, go ahead and select file new, click OK and you see now we have filled our image with red color. Again, I apologize for that mistake. Let's go back to the edit menu and select preferences default grid. You can also find these options in the image menu, configure grid. I'm going to use this dialog to explain the options because if I make changes in the preferences dialog, I'll need to restart GIMP in order for them to take effect. But again, have in mind that if you make changes in this dialog, they will only last for the current session. If you restart GIMP, options will return to the default set in the preferences dialog so basically if you want the changes to last make them from the preferences dialog and if you want to make changes only for the current session use this dialog i'm going to close this and start explaining the options the first one is line style but to see that let's first go to the view menu and select show grid and i'm going to zoom in really close by default the line style is solid we can change that to dots and you see now we have these really small dots that indicate the intersections of the grid we can also change it again to intersections but this time indicated by crosshairs we can choose the dashed option or the double dashed option with the foreground color we can change the color of the grid for example if we don't want it to be black we can select this and choose red for example and you see now the grid is indicated with red color and this will work on all line styles as you can see now about the double dashed option line style we can also choose a background color we can change it for example to green and you see now the grid is indicated by uh, red green dashes i'm going to reset this and move on to the spacing options width and height by default is 10 pixels and because i've zoomed in so close you can actually see the pixels that this image is made of you can count them if you want to and you'll see that the width and height of the grid square is 10 pixels down here we can see how much this 10 pixels are in inches we can also change that to millimeters for example and you see that 10 pixels is 2.65 millimeters if you want to affect only the width or the height we can click on this option to break this chain and now i can affect only the height for example and you see if i zoom out a little bit you can see that this is no longer a square it's a rectangle now I'm going to reset this again zoom out and zoom in close on the top left corner so we can see better what the offset options do and by default the image grid starts from top to bottom and from left to right in this case the width of the image is a round number which means that if I zoom out and go to the right top corner you see that this square will also be made of 10 pixels but the height of the image is not a round number so if I zoom in on the bottom corner you will see that this square is not at uh, the height of this square is not 10 pixels so have that in mind 
and now with the offset option we can offset the grid if I click here to offset it by one pixel you'll see how this works we can also choose it to be a negative number we can also again break the chain and offset only the width or only the height and that's all the options in this dialog don't forget that from the view menu you can select to snap to grid so in this way many of the tools will snap to this grid and uh, it's useful for making selections and other stuff so that's it for this video hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like it leave a comment and that's it for now bye